UFO Love to Love CBT Guitar Lesson for Sarah. Um, great song. There's so many parts. I know you were concerned about there being a lot of piano, but there's actually a lot of guitar in here. There's some overdubs and, you know, some acoustic, some clean stuff, some electric. Just the whole thing. Just a beautiful song. Um, I noticed after the fact, um, actually before I started your lesson, I have a um, CBT lesson on this already, but it's actually for the outro solo for the live version so there are parts that are different so I went ahead and stuck with the studio version on this the very beginning wasn't sure if you wanted it I went ahead and put it in there um, it's a lot of unison bends this isn't standard tuning you're going 15 B 17 G he's like harmonizing these I brought on the, the G string off these move it back a half step and then again back a whole step Stay there and do it again. Up a whole step. And then on the high E, go 17, 16. To 17 B vibrato. And that'll go twice through. So basically. I mean, it's in there. It's not like a thing that he does again later, but uh, I figured let's do it. Uh, and that's section one. Section two, acoustic guitar. So just go clean channel on your electric. By the way, you posted a picture of your... Is that a Schecter I saw today? Beautiful guitar. Um, second fret D string, just... Real simple here. You do it four times. That's where the piano's going on. And then some distortion, open E, section 3, 115. Song just kind of picks up four times of that. And that might be overdue because I'm almost here in 7, 9 AD with it. So if you want to do that, that's fine. And then section 4, 127, it really gets kind of cooking here. Um, just an E5 power chord, 7A, 9D. You're strumming it as a triplet, down, up, down, and then you're going to palm mute um, 14 times. So I would go 4, 4, 4, and 2. Uh, you know, several ways to count it, but you hopefully you won't have to count it at all. If you do, it's just until you memorize it. And that's just a palm muted open E string. Okay, then it goes back to what it sounds like is probably an acoustic overdub. We would, um, it could be electric with it. Um, oops. You're going to go, um, this is all on the D and G string. 12D, 11G to 14, 12D, G. You'll go. Move that up a whole step to 16, 14. Back to 12, 11 to 14, 12. That's kind of the first half of that. So you have... Okay, and then the second half, same two strings, 19D, 17G. Oops, I'm, I'm, I'm this is a whole step flat there. And then from there, um, 1614. So it's um, to 1716. So 1412 to 1614. 1211 to 1412 twice. So you have. It does that four times. The fourth time you don't do the star, which is just the last two hits, the 1412 DG. And back to distortion. 3A. There's so many sections in here, sir. Uh, but some are short. 3A vibrato. Um, you're gonna vibrato it, pick slide to two, two slide to seven, vibrato. Three A, then release, two A, open E. Maybe start it over. And then end it with two slide to three, three 
three, slide to two, open E. Okay, this next part is killer. This is the uh, clean or acoustic, however you want to look at it, but um. Kind of like Randy Rhodes, huh? Two minutes in, section seven. Open E, 2D, open G, open B, open E, and then just go back up, B, G, and D with that. So it's, and it's a hold through an E minor chord. So we have, and then this amazing chord here. Open A, 7D, 5G, 4B. Keep the knuckles coming down so you can clear the uh, b below strings and just arpeggiate it. A through high E, back up to D. That goes twice, by the way, the whole thing. So it's... And then back to the E minor. C major, 3A, open G, 1B, open E. Um, from there, you're going to go to D major, open D, and then 2G, 3B, 2E. So it's... I'm going to pan out a little bit because I feel like it's cutting part of my pick hand off. And you may need to see that. So we have... And then the E minor again. C major strum to D major strum. So it's. And then section eight. It's a G major. And he's doing, it's hard to hear the exact arpeggiated pattern, but um, I wanted to give you something that's solid. That, because um, he probably left room to kind of do little things in there. So we're going to go. 244 in, G major, 3E, muted A, open D, open G, 3B, 3E. Strum. As that's ringing, hit the E, B, and G string. Oops. So, we'll go from the G to the D. It's open D, 2G, 3B, 2E. You're going to strum the D, G, and B. And then our page E, B, G. To C major, 3, 2, open 1, A through B. Hold it down as you hit strings 1, 2, and 3. That way we're keeping them consistent. Strum, 1, 2, 3. E minors, top three strings, open two, two, and then E, B, G. Back to the G, strum, start it over, to D, and then on the C we're going to change a little. It's still a C major chord, but we're going to add the pinky to three high E. We're going to strum strings five through two, go strings one, two, three, or no, go strings one, and then two, one, so it's... Um, D major, open D, 2G, 2E, and 3B. So. Four times, fourth time, no star, which is that part. In place of that, you're going to go E minor, just strum. C major, rest, D. So it's... Um, section 9, 330 in, 3E, and 3B. We're going to arpeggiate. We're going to go E, D, G, B. Open it. Let me play through it. Really pretty right there. So after the 3B, we're going to go open B. Strum an A minor. Open A, 2D, 2G, 1B. Open B. Back to 1B. Open E. So it's. And then D major, the standard D major chord, 
two G, three B, two E. And we're going to arpeggiate it D, G, B, E. Um, pinky three E, pull to two. Up on three B, twice. Mm -hmm. And then page four, series of repeats. The next new part is section 10, 350 in, 8B, 9G, and 9D. And you'll go B, G, D, G, B. So it's um, up and back down. That's going to be, yeah. So, then bar the 7th fret, D, G, and B do the same thing. So it's E minor, D major, now C major, barred 5th fret, same strings, but go B, G, D, B, G, B. In other words, so we have... And then he throws in this little fill, and it's not really loud, it goes... 9-8, GB to 7-7 seven, seven to 9-8. And then you repeat it, second time no star, those last chords become 11-10, 9-8, 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep. Okay, so uh, after that, um, that's it for that section. Two times, second time no star. Section 11, four minutes in is more arpeggiating, so it's still clean. It's 8E, 10B, 9G. Arpeggiate strings 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2. Move that up a whole step, so. So it's exactly the same. Then you'll go, same thing with opens. So we have. Open E, 3, 5, open, 3, open B. So that ending is... Two times, second time, no star, which is the opens. In place of that, just strum an E minor. So, we have a... Second time, no stars. From the E minor. Then the first solo comes in. This is just more like a little melody solo. You're gonna go seven hammer eight B. Comes in at four eleven. Eight seven B. Um, and then seven G D D. So. And then switch out fingerings. Uh, third finger seven D, pull five. And then seven slide nine. Eight B, twice, hammer to ten. Then go eight seven B. And then seven on the G and D as well. So it's and then Middle finger, 7D, hammer 9. So, 7 pull 5. 4 hammer 5. 7A vibrato. So that ends with... There's easier ways to play that, but that's what it sounded like to me. Players don't always take the easier route, you know. Depends if they're doing a hammer on or a pull off. He could have went, you know, but there's no hammer pulls in that, so. Two times, second time, no star, which is that part. In place of that, go 9-7, D-A. So you come off the... Alright, moving on to page 5. Six pages total. Series of repeats, and then you'll have section 12, 537 in, shortest section of the song. 3A, vibrato. Pick slide to 5, slide to 10. That 10 is in parentheses because it's actually um, 
flowing into the next section, which is section eight. Um, at the end of that 540 timestamp, you'll have an E5 power chord, open two EA. And the second solo comes in, unison bends. 12 E, 15 B. I like to back that with the middle. We're gonna bend the B string and vibrato it. And then, um, that's at 647. And then do four unison bends. And then he does this, uh, yeah. Really cool. Bar the 12th fret E and B. We're going to go 15 E, pull to 12. I would upstroke this, Sarah. And then down the 12 B and do that three times. Same thing, but go to 17 high E. Only one time. So it's one, two, three. Then go back to that concept, but go 15 pull to 12. To the 12 B and then to the 17 pull 12 to the 12 B so now he's doing one time each four times right then he does it again but he goes from the 15 E to the 14 E four times right 655, 12E, 15B, bend vibrato. Bend, pick, bend vibrato. So you have. So shinker, right? 12E, 15, 12B, 14G, bend release. 